Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. Brian Engelstad here at Thunderdome, Minnesota, and this is just a experiment we were working on this morning. When we woke up, it was 22 degrees, and uh, we've been working on uh, the idea of how to heat a tent, you know, a modern tent, uh, with you know, not a yurt, but a modern tent with uh, all the man-made materials that are flammable. Uh, with uh, cheap materials and this is one of the things that we were coming up with this morning it was an age of food cake pan uh inverted and then take the insert and on top uh those are just some cheap rocks we also got at the thrift store um pan of frozen water this morning for in our bird bath and this is just a plant stand we found on the side of the road and then we had eight tea lights in a uh like just like a pie pan cake pan type thing and those eight little tea lights you know you can kind of see how you know the how you can see the glow you can actually sometimes see the little uh whiffle of uh how the air turns hot you know you can kind of see the, the ripples and it heated this whole pan of frozen water to warm so I call that a success. This is not the uh, final version of this, but it uh, gives us enough uh, encouragement that this plan is uh, not a complete waste. Um, the idea is, you know, people using propane um, stoves inside tents, you know, propane heaters, and the tents catch fire, and then there's a problem of trying to make something more manageable, self-contained, and not likely to combust. So... Uh, this is the nice thing about my backyard is there's usually quite a few raw materials around to uh, experiment with. Um, but I know another version is people use clay pots with tea lights and a way of doing that. The problem is in Minnesota in the winter, not a, people, a lot of people sell those because there's not a whole lot of demand for the shelf space, of course, for clay pots in the middle of winter. So, and shipping, of course, clay pots is uh, difficult. You can kind of see the steam coming off the water. I mean, it's gotten that hot. And it's only after about an hour and a half. So, again, I'd call this a success. And uh, we might do an update on this later. But I thought it was interesting enough to share. Just in case any of you guys are also thinking about similar things. Or a way to keep your bird bath uh, warm, cheap, in the winter. Alright, we'll see you in the next one.